If you've been using 3ds Max for a while, imagine that you can extend its capabilities a hundredfold. The idea is mind-boggling. And yet, that's exactly what you can do with the addition of third-party scripts. 3ds Max's open architecture means that you can have access to hundreds of useful scripts, most of them free of charge to increase your productivity. That also means that you can pick and choose without having to learn script programming yourself. There are many places on the internet where you can find scripts to download, but a safe place to start is scriptspot.com. There are different types of scripts you can use in 3ds Max. This tutorial shows you two types, regular scripts and macro scripts. Regular scripts are easy to use as you run them from an existing command in the 3ds Max Max Script pull-down menu. Macro scripts are a bit touchier as they require a bit more interaction to make them part of the 3ds Max UI. Here, you will download one script of each type to see how you can install and use them. On the script spot page, do a search for Primitive Maker. This is a simple but handy script that makes a primitive of any object in a scene. Notice that the file to download has a .ms extension. This is your indication that this is a regular Mac script file. Download the file to a location on your hard drive. You'll use it to create a primitive object of a custom piece of geometry. In this case, you use the model of a superhero that you may have seen before in the CAD tutorial movies. Notice that the object in this case has a fairly low poly count. If you try using Primitive Maker with a large poly count, it may choke. To use the script, all you need to do is to run it using the max script run script command. Browse to where you downloaded the file and load it. In this case, the script opens a dialog. What you need to do is give the new primitive a name, such as Superhero, and then define a category such as My Primitives. This new category will be added to the Create panel in a second. Click the Pick Template object and select the character in the viewport. Click the Make Primitive Plugin button to save the new superhero script to disk. At this point, you have a new My Primitives category in the Create panel and when chosen, you have access to a new superhero button. You can use it to populate the scene with an army of superheroes. As mentioned earlier, there's another type of scripts called Macro Scripts. These require a bit more effort on your part before you can use them. On the script spot page, make a search for Mirror Bones. As its name implies, this tool is meant to mirror bones to create symmetrical structures. The reason why this tool is useful when compared to the regular mirror tool is that it doesn't create negative scaling. More on that later. Notice the downloaded file is a compressed file. When unzipped, it shows a macroscript file with a macro prefix and an extension .mcr, as well as a brief installation text file. To use the macroscript file, first you need to copy the .mcr file to your 3ds Max installation folder under UI Macroscripts. Once you have done that, you want to make sure you restart 3ds Max if it's currently running in order for the macro script to be recognized. Next, you need to make it part of the 3ds Max UI to be able to use it. Choose Customize, Customize User Interface, and then in the Category menu, choose the Animation Tools category. Notice the Mirror Selected Bones entry. That's the new macro script you just downloaded. It wouldn't have appeared if you hadn't restarted 3ds Max. You can create a keyboard shortcut for it, or add it to the Toolbar, Quad menu, or Pull-down menu. Click the Toolbars tab. Click the New button to create a new toolbar. Name it My Tools. Again, choose the Animation Tools category and then drag the Mirror Selected Bones entry to the new toolbar. Close the Customize UI dialog when done.
In the front view, create a set of bones to approximate a wing structure. At this point, nothing prevents you from selecting the wing structure and mirror it to the other side using the regular mirror tool. However, notice that when you select the top bone on each wing structure and then choose the scale tool, the copy shows a negative scale, minus 100. Negative scaled bones may or may not create problems later on when you start animating them. You certainly increase your chances of encountering problems if you decide to export these bones to other 3D applications. Autodesk Motion Builder in particular doesn't like bone structures with negative scales. This is where the mirror bones utility is handy. By using it instead of the regular mirror tool, you ensure that all scales remain positive. Macro scripts and new toolbars remain active between 3ds Max sessions. Some scripts, like the Primitive Maker script, need to be reloaded. Notice that the My Primitives entry has disappeared from the Create panel. However, since you already created a plugin for the Superhero Primitive, a plugin which is essentially just another .ms file, all you need to do is run it to access the custom tool. Finally, keep in mind that free scripts and macro scripts you downloaded from the internet may have been written for an earlier version of 3ds Max. This does not guarantee that they will work flawlessly with your current version, but as they are free, it's a reasonable chance to take.